Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I will be playing the last game of 2020. But before we start, I would first of all like to thank you all for all your support and it has been a really great journey so far. Started on July 4th this year, playing the last game of this year, 2020, 31st December it is and amazing, amazing feeling it is. Uh, this channel has seen some really good success so far about 1000 odd subscribers, uh, around 1400 of uh, hours of public watch time. It has been a really good journey so far uh, and it wouldn't have been possible without all of your support. So thanks for watching all these videos on a daily basis. And I hope that continues. We scale this to a something really big and just yeah, keep supporting me. So yeah, let's begin with the game. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, if you're a newcomer, please do subscribe and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. I dealt out the bishop, playing the London system setup here. Can get my knight active on f3. Um, can go towards the center or just bring my bishop back. Trying to take with the edge pawn, opening up the edge file for the attack. Uh, giving a check, trying to get... Uh, the pawn structure opened up for my opponent. I can just come back on to d3, eyeing the right diagonal. My opponent is offering bishop exchange. I'm okay with it. If he really wants to take, I'll take back. Okay, takes the bishop. I'll take back. Okay, doesn't take this. Interestingly. Okay, I can def deflect the knight or let's go in the center with my knight. So he does take now. I'll take with the queen. Just trying to eye this. You never know what happens next. I can have this pawn forward always, which is nice. Kind of closes the situation and then I can use my other knight to the advantage. This can come here can be annoying trying to take a pawn which of course i can save by just moving it forward knight here would not cause me any troubles i'll also i'll try to exchange this now don't want annoying knights open can cast lead the side too i can cast on the queen side so this looks like a good fun game about to happen the last game of 2020 Hope the next year brings a lot of happiness in everyone's life. We all improve and grow this game of chess. And we continue to have fun playing these games on a daily basis. Okay, play spawn forward. Uh, I can get the knight active. I can take this, but taking would be weaken, uh, weakening of my E pawn, which I don't want to happen. He can now push the pawn and I can just go back. So not trouble, uh, some issue. Of course, I know how to break this up. That's pawn B3 and then you can go with uh, A5 if required, A4. Also I have this check coming, which can spoil the open's castling. Uh, I can fix my double pawn structure as well, just in case. Uh, I think I should begin with this, giving a check, spoil the castling at least. And then I can go ahead with the knight, trying to exchange, that would fix my double pawns too, eventually. Okay, I can take the queen. Let's exchange queens off the board. I'll go with the knight, trying to exchange. Or if he denies, which does happen. If I castle, he goes here. That would be again annoying. <laughs> so uh, can I go ahead with the knight? No, I can't. Can I push the pawn? Yes, I can. So let's go ahead with this. Uh, double pawns can be advantageous too, if you know how to use them. Just try and block this. This can be played. I can take. Uh, king can go up any time, but going up has to be careful with the rook. 
there can be a fork coming with this knight around. Okay. I think I just should just move my rook once. Uh, can I move it here? Or just defend the pawn? Uh, it's not about pawn actually. I'll move this double pawn first so that this is nice to be um, and challenging to be broken by the opponent. And now that squares are free, I can get my rook here. And suddenly when I place the knight over here, that's forcing my opponent to do something about it. Now I can just move the king or the knight. Anything is fine. Okay, let's go ahead with the knight. I want to exchange. Okay, takes the pawn. Shit, I missed that fact. You can go there as well. But that's okay. I'll go here. Maybe have aligned my other rook over here on the F file. It's kind of a close situation. Okay, uh, I can take here. Opponent takes with the king. Interesting. Okay, and what is he going to do if I get my rook here? Nothing. Ideas of playing pawn forward. The knight isn't doing much there, so it's okay. You can stand there all day. I just lost an extra pawn. I'm just wondering, I should have been a bit more careful with that king move, the knight move, to be precise enough. But yeah, that's okay. Some little concentration lapses are expected. Oh, uh, okay. I let him take. I just move the pawn so that I can take. Okay. Uh, that can be bad, I would say. Because now I can take this. And once my opponent takes that, I can take this. So pawns are equal now. Thanks to my open spawn break from the other side of the board. Okay, comes down. I can take a pawn. Let's take the pawn. Why not take it? Uh, let's give a check. That can win me another pawn. Oh, I have to be careful here because my opponent can get the knight here. That would pressurize me. Hmm, I didn't see that part. And uh, is it already late? Kind of it is. But have to do something. So maybe just play king here. Yeah, that also makes sense. Now I can move my knight freely just in case required. That should have been a nice move. Check would mean it's a mate. Oh, so I need to play pawn forward. Trying to make space for my king. I go here, attacking the rook. Where does the rook go? Huh? What does he do? Okay, folk. That's also fine. I'll take. Opponent takes back. I'll take this. I have to deflect the king. So that I, I also gain some opposition. Trying to take the pawn next. Eventually. Can split it. He doesn't take. I go down. He has to take now. Okay. I can take double pawns. Can I stop these? Would be tough with a soul king. But I'll try my best, of course. Can 
and get the king down. I had to go that side, maybe. Huh, stalemate. Okay, that's also kind of nice <laughs> to end the year on a stalemate. It's not a win, but it's not a loss too. And I managed it eventually to have a stalemate. So yeah, that works out. Let's end this on a stalemate. If there was no victory, at least we found a stalemate. Just like this year has been tough for everyone. Thanks to COVID and work from home. Okay, so the elephant was nice and fine. I did some blunder somewhere, somewhere huge. I went there, take on. This is fine. Taking with the pawn was also nice. Yeah, I think the, the extra pawn costed me. Entry. Again, I didn't have much time as well to calculate everything. My opponent was playing fast too. Okay, pawn four was bad to begin with. Here, double pawns, defending, opponent goes there. This was bad, yes, two points ahead. My opponent is, I take, he takes back with the king. I think I would have got back somewhere in, the, in between as well. Yeah, it's zero, zero here. After I take, he goes there and I can take another pawn, but I take the rook first, deflecting my opponent and then take an extra pawn. And then I take this, which he takes back. Good check. And take a pawn, but I go there. My opponent plays knight. I make space for my king. That was nice by my opponent, but oh, okay. So I can just make sure that there's no fork happening by just giving a check first. But as soon as I take, that's losing. So I could have won by just placing my rook here. That's a check. He moves. Uh, and then I can just take the rook. And then there's no fork happening. Just the knight can give a check. I can go up. Opponent cannot take actually or can take because I cannot take the knight. Otherwise, I lose the rook. And then, of course, black is winning with extra pawns. And the pawn is up closer uh, uh, to queening. So this knight move, had I got time there, maybe I should have taken some more time there. I had so much on the clock. One minute, 16 seconds as per each chess. So that's a good enough time to evaluate. But I didn't. I just thought that my opponent lost the rook there. Could have taken some bit of time before taking on the rook. Hmm. Okay, that's the only thing. And then there was no hope. I was losing. I was down and out. But as always, I didn't resign, which helped me get a stalemate. And I think I could have done one more thing better here, which is uh, move the king over to f. But then again, my opponent had a lot of moves. Uh, even after going over here, he can just play pawn forward. And now I have to move the king. The only legal square is this. My opponent can uh, even produce stalemate here as well. That would have been nasty. So opponent had to give a queen here. So I take and then he can probably just win opposition eventually uh, by moving me here. Opponent can come here. Then this file uh, goes away from me and then that's a check. And I move and eventually the queen is on the board. So double pawns are tricky to be handled as well in the end game. I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. Give this video a thumbs up as well. Stalemate is not bad eventually. And I hope uh, we have some really great games going ahead in 2021. See you next year. That is tomorrow again. <laughs> so yeah, come back and be safe. Enjoy. Party hard. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.